My name is Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Virginia! And I'm addicted to eating rocks. Why are they all from there? I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. How the fuck do you eat She was rock? initially attracted to the earthy smell. It makes my teeth hurt. I was hurt. just out walking one day. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. Uh. I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside of it, it's gonna rebel against you. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. She uses a Damn. hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it, or just put the whole piece in my mouth and... and get the earthy taste off of it. Two pounds. I just spat everywhere. I will eat them in front of anybody. I'm not ashamed of it, so it doesn't really bother me. I eat it at home, of course. <laughs> Imagine she's just like eating it um, at the shop and someone's like, oh, you got some candy. Yeah, yeah, rock, rock candy. Oh, yeah, actual rock. I fucked this. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> All right, fair enough. It's so good for her teeth, but when it goes down into your stomach, it's probably like, what the fuck's this? Watching TV movies in my bedroom, driving down the road. I do eat more rocks when I'm nervous or upset. It does <laughs> like bring me down and makes me feel more calm. When my mom eats rocks, it's kind of like she goes to La La Land. She doesn't seem to be paying attention to anything going on around her. Teresa even drives up to an hour away to reach the rocks that make her mouth water. Um, this is one of my places that I come to get the rocks. <laughs> I like it because it's actually in the dirt banks and it's really good pieces for crushing up and eating. Other people have told me to worry about animals using the bathroom and things like that or oil leaks or anything that might get surely, on the rocks. But Okay, I was about to say, surely she washes them first, but then I was like, mm, it did, she did mention she likes the earthy taste. She just fucking picked it up and ate it. Okay. I don't care to wash them. Thanks for answering. God damn it. <laughs> she doesn't care to wash them. Thanks. Thanks. Teresa's addiction to eating rocks hasn't come without a price. I've had a tooth break before from eating rocks. I have a few choking experiences while driving the car. Actually, pieces lodged in my throat, and it scared me. I've had a lot of stomach pain. I've had blood in my stools and trouble Ooh, with going to the course. bathroom. Nice I've told shade. my mom many times what could happen to her. She's taken it pretty lightly, I think. He actually aggravates me. Anytime he finds my rocks, he throws them away. Don't throw them away, please. I think it's going to take all of us, her friends, her family, everyone to say, you need to put these away. Nope. I'm not ready to stop. And I don't think there's anything that would make me stop. Wow. Really? Teresa has been eating rocks for the past 20 years. I've tasted 20. dirt, cigarette ashes, doggy mm, treats, but nothing tastes the same to me as the actual rock. Her doggy addic treats. I've eaten dog food before, or biscuit. I've eaten biscuit before. I would consider it dog food. A dog biscuit. I ate one. As a dare. Or two. One or two. Wasn't that bad. Wouldn't eat again. Addiction has gotten so bad, she can't go a single day Rather without consuming rocks. Teresa's children are scared her addiction is harming her. 
and want to convince kind of her food. to get help. That's I'm food afraid that my mom won't be around in our future if she continues eating the rocks. How do you know if you're chewing on your rock or it's not your tooth or something? I know it's not my tooth because I would feel my tooth if it comes out. Oh, and it wouldn't taste the same either. I'm afraid you might choke on it. I'm not going to let myself choke. What happens if a rock goes down and cuts your intestines and you bleed internally? You could die from that. If they catch it in time, I'm sure it would be fine. And if they don't? It just really bothers me because I've already lost my dad three years ago, and if you continue eating rocks, I'm afraid I might lose you. It doesn't even seem like you listen to what we tell you. I listen to what y'all tell me. But you don't care. No, I care. There me and my mom are very voices, close. Fuck. I would be broken if something ever did happen. I really think you need to quit. Why you think so? Because it's not healthy for you. It could really hurt you. And I think you should get a doctor's opinion and you should think twice about it. I'm listening to what y'all say right now. I'm taking it all to heart. Guess I'll listen to what the doctor has to say. The kid's opinion matters to me. They lost their dad. I know that I need to be here, and if they tell me I need to do something, then I'm gonna try to right. do it. She was like in denial, and then all of a sudden like this, she was like, Her family I, and friends have confronted I, her about her addiction and want her to see a I'll doctor. Listen. Teresa agreed, but doesn't think she's ready to quit. My main fear is that the doctor might say, Stop eating the rocks. No, I'm not she really of course she will. That. You're experiencing some stomach discomfort, correct? Just pain, just pain in general. Just pain? Yeah. It doesn't really bother me that much, so. Pain doesn't bother you? No, ma'am. Uh, that's an unusual response. Are you aware of what eating rocks may do to you? Not really, no. Okay, you take these, know, maybe which thing. are your little pieces, okay, that you've ground up. When you swallow them and you run them through your system, you get them down to an area where they can accumulate. They don't necessarily stay small. They can form concrete. And now they get to be this big, mm -hmm. and then they get to be this big. That could cause your death. I've thought that all the rocks have passed, but just knowing how they stick together and can form into concrete, that does worry me. So, are you ready to do anything different? Even consider anything different? I consider it, yes. The biggest problem with an addict is that they personally have to want to change. Yeah. You can write a prescription and say, take this, and they can get improvement. However, if they don't want to, they won't. We can only do so much for you in medicine before you do have to help yourself. The decision is yours. I think my children are gonna be very happy that I actually came to see the doctor. I do wanna stop eating the rocks. I'm not sure if it's gonna be an overnight process, but I'm going to quit. Really twice a day.